Hey folks, okay, so another non-720 related video for you today, but at least this one is gameplay related. So I wanted to play through what I consider the hardest stage on the very best console game there is. And for my money, the very best console game there is, is Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Wii U. It's a great game. It really is like the epitome of all of the Super Mario games. I've played through it all the way and 100 percent at everything. I recently deleted that game and then restarted and was able to get back to World Crown losing 48 lives, which kind of seems like a lot, but it's pretty good for this game, at least for me. So I'm going to choose Peach because she is uh, she can float, which makes getting through this stage a little easier. So here is World Crown, and World Crown has three stages. On the left is the Toad stage, which is sort of a uh, puzzle stage where you work your way to five stars. On the right is the question mark house, which is like 30 little mini stages that you have to complete all in a row without dying. And if you die, you go back to the beginning. And in the middle is World Crown Dash Crown or Champions Road, which is the most kind of more traditional Super Mario run and jump your way through the stage. And like I said, for me, I consider it the hardest maybe console game stage there is. It just is, was brutally hard when I first tried it. Uh, a lot of people would for sure disagree. There's tons of people that are just way better at these games than me. My specialty is actually the uh, stick a quarter in, 25 cent, 80s arcade games. But uh, I do love some of these console games and this one's my favorite. So I haven't yet completed this stage um, on this game or this save, and as you can see by having no green stars in the upper left. So I'm going to try to do it for the first time here and get a good performance on video. When I was originally playing through it, this section, the timing of these switch blocks, was probably where I lost the most lives. Um, but I've kind of got it down now, so I still do sometimes make mistakes, trying not to here. And that last jump there is a doozy. I like this chomper plant. Yeah, eats these little black crazy monsters. So you can see I pretty much abuse the peach floating quite a bit just to keep myself above these little spiky strips. Let that guy chow down a little bit. If you kill all of these guys, you do get some coins or something, but at this stage of the game, you really don't need it. So here you can kind of wall jump up between these and bounce on them, but for some reason with Peach I can never do it very good, so I like to kill all of the ones on the inside by doing this kind of smash technique, and there's six of them, and once they're all dead, you're kind of clear to wall jump your way up the inside like this. Just holding down jump to bounce on their heads. I like how the music muffles when you get underwater. There's a lot of just little details in this game, in the graphics, and the sounds, and the gameplay, and the little the character animations and stuff that really make it fun to play and to watch and to look at. So I have an extra leaf down there that I can use which gives me a raccoon suit, which for Peach it's not that big of a deal, it just lets you float, which I can already do, but I'm going to use it because on this area I tend to get hit at least once and I want that extra backup of being able to be hit again. So here we go. So there's one star to 
grab here. I missed it. I'm going to have to go back for it. I get it now. Go around in a circle. And I just want to stay over. So I missed one somewhere. Where is that one? There it is. So, and actually that's it. So, <laughs> that, I talk about how hard it is. It's actually not that hard if you've practiced it a lot, but it's a lot of memorization and, um, and luck there. I was lucky in a lot of those jumps, but uh, got stuck there. You make your way through the thank you message. And there's a little trip through all the different characters that you saw when you played the game. And the stamp. And with Peach, it's very easy to float across and get the top of the flagpole, which is the last thing you have to do. So there you go, folks. That is Champion's Road in Super Mario 3D World. If you haven't played it, give it a shot. Great game.